leaders may act like this is not a big deal. It is definitely a big deal, and we ought to make decisions based on that fact. And finally, a topic no one ever brings up, we must protect the U.S. dollar. America's power derives from its wealth. Rich countries get to do what they want. Poor countries must obey their masters or they get invaded. We just saw that happen. That is the unchanging rule. In this country, control of the U.S. dollar is the key to our wealth. Our entire financialized, debt-based economy rests on the unique privilege of issuing the world's reserve currency. If the U.S. dollar is ever replaced, we are in legitimate trouble. Our debt will come due, our government will go bankrupt, and millions of Americans will become poor immediately. So this is the main thing we ought to be worried about, and it is a greater risk now than ever before. But China is trying to become the first major country in the world whose central bank issues sovereign digital currency. If that works, and many efforts like it, it would be a huge loss for the United States, an irreplaceable loss that would change this country forever, much more than an invasion of Ukraine. So we should be watching that, attacks on the primacy of the U.S. dollar globally, every bit as intently as we watch the coverage currently on television of the hot war. If at the end of this conflict, whenever that is, countries around the world have come to see the Chinese yuan as a stronger, more stable currency than the U.S. dollar, then this country will have lost more than we understand. Somebody needs to be paying attention to this. Let's fervently hope that somebody is. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page. America's power derives from its wealth. Rich countries get to do what they want. Poor countries must obey their masters or they get invaded.